Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's episode, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemount's magnetic flow meter technologies. In particular, we're talking through slurry applications. Now we've developed specific solutions for tough slurry applications. And if you're familiar with these applications, you're probably familiar with the high signal platform, which is the previous generation platform. And I bring this up because it helps serve as a basis when we look at the next generation technology. And so this is a very strong reputation still installed in many of our customer sites uh, because it, it works quite well. It handles very high noise applications. So think high percentage of solids and say a mining application. Um, now this solution we like to think of as a bit of a brute force strategy. So we just, instead of hitting it with a two amp current, we hit it with a five amp current and that uh, generate very strong signals and then ultimately improve those signal to noise ratios. And we've gotten a little bit more sophisticated with the slurry platform which came out a few years back and we basically took the best of the high signal platform and we improved and added new features so um, we got a little bit more sophisticated with some of our advanced signal processing which allowed us to then drop that current uh, draw to only two amps we were also able to add in advanced diagnostics uh, which really really help in these tough applications now, if we look at, like we talked about in the last video, some of the noise profiles, um, we can see the impact of this solution. So in this specific example here, the specific application, let's say it's a high percentage of solids, you might have uh, a frequency and signal to noise ratio plot that looks like this. Obviously, we can see we have a lot of noise at that lower frequency. Now with the previous generation, the 8712H was the transmitter for the, the, the high signal platform. It operated at five Hertz and 37.5 Hertz. And so in this specific application, you might've had to go to the 37.5 Hertz option in that transmitter to overcome this. Versus our slurry platform, we have uh, the 8782 transmitter operates at a lower frequency and a higher frequency. So the lower frequency is uh, unspecified, but it's somewhere between five and 37 and a half Hertz and then high frequency is beyond that, um, you can see we can get a stronger signal to noise ratio um, at some sort of lower frequency through this technology. And this is really the power of the uh, adaptive signal processing. Uh, but the point here is that there are a variety of options to choose from. Um, and with the new slurry platform, you're gonna have improved signals in these very, very tough applications. Now the immediate thought when you see a graph like this is why would you just not always pick a high frequency? Um, and there is a trade-off relationship between accuracy and signal to noise ratio. So as we improve in this signal to noise ratio, as you can see with the high frequency 8782, we do have a slight trade-off for accuracy. So we prefer to be in the lower frequency side of things if we can, uh, but in these very tough applications, some of the diagnostics will tell you if we should move up to that higher frequency built into that transmitter. Should you have any questions about Rosemount's magnetic flow meters or any other of our technologies, please reach out using the QR code to my left. Thanks and have a great day.